It won't be long now before we learn about a future king or queen of England. King went to the hospital about six hours ago. You see it right there, St. Mary's Hospital in central London. And look at this crowd growing outside Buckingham Palace right now. More than a thousand people waiting for the royal announcement. Oh, they're already gathering out there. And the Duchess is in a private wing of that hospital right there in central London. She arrived there shortly before 6 a.m. London time through a side door. And this morning, the Queen is at Windsor Castle. And there's Prince Charles. He's in York this morning. And for those of you who pay attention to this kind of thing, <laughs> Kate did go into labor during a full moon. Wow. For what that whatever is. that is worth. <laughs> wow. Whatever it's worth there, Lara. <laughs> ABC's Amy Robach is outside St. Mary's Hospital right now and has the very latest. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, and you know what? We saw that full moon last night, and we were wondering, and sure enough, at 5.30 this morning, we now know that William and Kate were driven in by a royal bodyguard to the rear entrance of St. Mary's Hospital. No one actually got to see the royal couple, so they made their secret entrance. They were admitted shortly thereafter around 6 a.m. Local time, 7.30 a.m., we got the official word from the palace that, yes, Kate was indeed in the early stages of labor, and after weeks of waiting here, outside the hospital, it is fair to say that the Lindo wing is no longer in limbo. That secret entrance to the hospital took the scores of media waiting outside by surprise. The palace had always indicated that the Duchess was due in mid-July, so camera crews from all corners of the globe have been camped outside of the Lindo wing of St. Mary's Hospital for weeks, waiting to catch a glimpse of the royal duo. For an anxious nation, word that the Duchess is in labor is welcome news. Future heir, isn't it? So that's why it's bringing a lot of excitement. Hopefully a boy, actually, hopefully a boy. I think the country will be delighted, whatever it is. Hope so. <laughs> yes. Kate has reportedly been hoping for a natural childbirth and will be shepherded through her labor by a veritable medical dream team headed by renowned obstetricians Dr. Marcus Setchell and Dr. Alan Farthing. Prince William is expected to stay by Kate's side throughout her labor and will take two weeks of paternity leave. Elsewhere in England today, proud grandpa-to-be Charles was all smiles, awaiting word of his first grandchild. As soon as the baby is born, a paper confirming the gender and weight of the heir to the throne will be taken by page from the hospital to Buckingham Palace and will be shared with the waiting public on an easel placed just inside of the palace gate. How long Kate and the baby remain in the hospital is up to the royal couple and their medical team. In the case of Princess Diana, she stayed in the hospital just one night before stepping down the same steps of St. Mary's that Kate is expected to step down with the future monarch in tow. And George, for so long I've seen these tired, long faces. There are nothing but smiles as far as the eye can see. Despite this 90 degree heat, everybody is full of excitement for this baby.